Yo, what's up guys, it's X-Rays and welcome back to a new Zombies video. In today's video, I'm just going to be covering my thoughts on Black Ops 2 zombie maps. What did I think about them, the structure, what did I think of how big or small they were, what did I think about, you know, just my final verdict on how the zombie experience was for Black Ops 2. I've been playing zombies since uh, World at War. I played in World at War, I played at Black Ops, I played at Black Ops 2. And I'm going to give my opinion, and this might just be because I played zombies from before, so, you know, again, this is all opinion, this is not me trying to force something on you. I know a lot of you guys might have some maps that you guys thoroughly enjoyed, but I absolutely hated. Um, so, let's get straight into it. The first map that came with Black Ops 2, the first zombie map, ended up being Transit. Transit, and I think I... I I think the majority of the community agrees with me that Transit was just not a good zombie map. Now a lot of people are like, you know, I, sometimes I see comments of people saying, what are you talking about, Transit is my favorite map, or, you know, Transit was okay. Um, but honestly, Transit was just, for me, it was such a boring map. It was too slow, it was too big at the same time. Um, and that probably sound like a sex joke. Uh, but, you know, the map was too big. There was too much to do. Who the hell wants to build the Pack-A-Punch machine? Who the hell wants to go through the bus, do all this extra crap? The fog was horrible. The denizens that would pop up from the fog was just an absolute horror. You didn't want to run anywhere. You didn't want to do anything. And for me, Transit, when, I, when that map first came out, at first it was like, Oh, cool, you know, whoa, it's so big. And... Nope, not a good map. Not a good map for me and for the majority of the zombie community. We all have to say a hell no to that retarded as map. Again, my opinion. You guys could say that it's the best map, but whatever. So that was that was transit. I did not like it. Moving on to the next map that came out, we got Die Rise. Die Rise. This one is a little bit complicated. I liked it, but at the same time, I I didn't. I don't know why. I kind of felt like the whole aspect of you running to one building, having to use a buildable to get yourself across to the other one, or your weight on on a specific elevator to get to the top that in the end could also crush you. I kind of felt like there were too many things that were reliant on, on luck on, on Die Rise. I kind of felt like if you got lucky, you got, you know, Juggernaut real close to the first building by where you spawn. You got really lucky if that happened. You got lucky if, you know, if the elevator came to you on time while you were, you know, maybe running a train or something. I kind of felt like that map was a little bit too reliant on that. Other than that, I thought the structure of the map was pretty cool. The idea of, well, here we go from the trailer, verticality. Um, I thought it was a pretty good idea that they implemented, but I just kind of felt like maybe since it was their first time ever trying to do that, that it was a little bit harder than they thought it was going to be. And honestly, I just... I don't know. I, I, I thought Die Rise was okay, but it wasn't an amazing map. If I had to give it out of 5, I'd give Die Rise a 3 out of 5. For Transit, if it was out of 5, I'd say 1 out of 5 for Transit. I'm not going to give it a 0, because you could split it apart and do like Town only and that kind of stuff, which is kind of cool. But, you know, the, the whole gigantic map in general, 1 out of 5. Next map that came out, Mob of the Dead. This one was actually a really cool map. I actually liked it. There are only a few things that I didn't like about it, which I'll discuss real quick. Uh, the first thing being that you had to go into afterlife mode in order to turn on the perks and do all that kind of stuff. Now, I like the idea you could save them all up, you could have three, and then you could go down three times in a row, and you never really had a limit to how many times you could go down. Um, the new perk that was there, Electric Cherry, was pretty cool. The Acid Gat, uh, the fact that the zombies had red eyes, just the fact that it was Alcatraz, too, was just freaking awesome. I just kind of felt like, like the gameplay was too too slow because of the fact that you had to go into afterlife mode in order to be able to turn on perks do all that kind of stuff and you had to build a plane to get to the actual bridge in order to pack a punch and I don't know how I felt about all of that you know I, I come from a time when it was just you know you link up the teleporters that's it you go pack a punch you throw as many grenades as you can you know more referencing towards Kino de Toten and you know you would go back in some areas it was just really really easy to pack a punch and I just kind of felt like Black Ops 2 just kind of tried to add too much. Like it added so much that it didn't do anything. But uh, going back to Mob of the Dead, uh, if I had to give it a score, the, the score on that one would actually be 4 out of 5. I actually really enjoyed Mob of the Dead. It was pretty cool. Tommy Gun, everything they added 
Just the fact that it, it felt a little slow pace is the only reason that I would give it a 4 out of 5 as opposed to a 5 out of 5. Um, just because, I don't know, I, I like more of a fast-paced map where you have everything there, you run, you get your points, you get the perks, you do everything, you don't have to go through, oh, I gotta wait another round to get enough, you know, afterlife so that if I go down, I don't lose it. You know, that kind of stuff was kind of ridiculous, but that was Mob of the Dead. And then we got Buried. Buried was, surprisingly for me, it was one of my favorite maps. I actually really enjoyed that one. There's a lot to do, a lot of different side characters, a lot of cool stuff you could do. And just the amount of, like, Easter eggs and the amount of little things you could do with Leroy or the big guy, whatever you want to call him, was really interesting. I liked the size of the map. It wasn't super big, and it wasn't, like, tiny, like, really small. Um, so it was a good sized map. I liked the western theme. I liked the fact that you could get, you know, inside the mansion, go to the back. And the one thing I didn't like was that maze. But it was, it was tedious, but, you know, it was still kind of fun. The wonder weapons were awesome in that one. The introduction of the ray gun Mark II, all of that kind of stuff was just amazing. So, Buried for me was actually a 5 out of 5. Um, that's That was my favorite one so far, uh, apart from, you know, Origins. And now, getting into Origins, the final map for Black Ops 2. My thoughts on it? I actually like Origins, but, you know, the same deal I had with Mama the Dead, and this is probably because it's also made by the campaign team, the whole having to turn on every generator type thing, I mean, it was kind of cool. The idea is kind of cool. I like it. But at the same time, it was kind of like, mm, you know, I got to go to red gen generator this, and then it's going to get attacked by zombies. And, you know, the pack-a-punch is surprisingly easy, you know, if you're, if you're going to get to all of the uh, power machines, all the generators. You can actually do it in, like, four or five rounds and finally get over there. But I don't know. I just kind of felt like, like it was too slow-paced because of that. The one big thing that... Black Ops 2 had was they tried experimenting with making really big zombie maps. Transit was a fail. Origins was better than than Transit. I, even though it was big, I didn't really care about that. See, that's that's when when the game actually uh, used it, utilized the fact that it was a big map to its advantage. But I just kind of feel like bigger maps mean slower paced games. Means you know really long rounds. So you're trying to train. You find more spots to train and everything. But it kind of feels like the rounds take a lot longer. It takes you forever to try to complete the Easter egg, especially on Origins. The Easter egg is just crazy. Um, and then getting the parts for the staff and everything. It just it just really it's really time consuming. Before you know it, you're like two or three hours into the game and it's only like round you know maybe 15 16 or something and you still haven't completed everything unless you like it unless it's like your mission um, but that's that's what I thought that's my thoughts on on the maps for black ops 2 zombies tell me overall guys what did you guys think of the zombies did you guys enjoy it did you guys think that this was a successful year for zombies you know leave a comment down below let's get a discussion going which is your favorite map is the next question for you guys um, from Black Ops 2 and then if you also want to mention which is your favorite map of all time let me know and I'll let you guys know mine in the comment section below and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'll see you guys next time I'm extra as I'm out remember to slap a like and a favorite it helps out the video a ton and if you guys are new feel free to subscribe so I'll see you guys next time I'm extra as I'm out peace